Jujutsu Kaisen is one of those shows that had people talking about animation quality despite not knowing anything about it. The common consensus seemed to be that Jujutsu Kaisen is one of the best looking shows ever, which is not true unfortunately. If you all are new and aren't aware of this X is not that well animated series that we do, we basically take shows praised for being well animated and point out visual flaws in them. This video is only about the flaws and not the positives, which there are plenty of as well. Like and subscribe if you have plenty of positives. Another day, another subscribe joke that is not funny. The biggest visual issue with Jujutsu Kaisen is the compositing, much like most shows animated by Studio Mappa. But before that, I want to point out some actual cuts of poor animation. Although not very common, some parts of the Itadori Mahito fight, as well as pretty much the entire rooftop segment of the Panda Mekamaru fight, was a buffet of awkward, choppy movement. Of course, Jujutsu Kaisen has a lot more Sakuga work than your average action anime, but that doesn't mean all of it is. But let's move on to the biggest issue, that goddamn compositing. I have talked about the actual concept of compositing in relative detail in my Ufotable video, but it's a very broad term. Which aspect of the compositing is the worst for Jujutsu Kaisen? Unlike an Attack on Titan, Jujutsu Kaisen doesn't exactly have problems with blur. The biggest issue is the show's over-reliance on filters and other digitally generated effects. The hand-drawn effects are really good, the digital ones are the problem. Mahito's domain expansion is a collection of CGI and lava effects and lighting that looks completely out of place. Just a little earlier in that very episode, the atrociously bad textures on the trees, grounds and leaves in the forest are on full display, kneecapping the otherwise great animation. Another great example is the this tunnel fight scene. And let's go a bit into detail about this one. This is how the original layout of this cut looked like. And this is the final product people saw in the anime. Right off the bat, the animated background is replaced by a 3D one which got rid of the smears in the background. It may have always been the plan, but the 3D landscapes and backgrounds in Jujutsu Kaisen don't look good. And neither do the textures on top of them. Even the staff is probably aware of this. And they had this blur on the background when it moves. Now blurring a 3D background when it moves fast is nothing uncommon. But the blur is brought in and out very immaturely to the point where it's noticeable. There are some frames here that are off-model, but perhaps due to a lack of time, instead of redrawing them on-model, they were removed altogether, which led to a lot of really awkward bits throughout this entire scene. The first offender is Nanami literally disappearing from frame as Mahito goes to grab him, while in the original layout, Mahito stuck around for one frame longer, and it looked like he got hidden by Mahito instead. This is then followed by Nanami literally reappearing behind Mahito, essentially teleporting, while in the layout, you can see Nanami sliding to get to his position, which anime Nanami just teleports into. These frames of Nanami sliding were probably removed for being off-model. Also, Nanami's running posture is completely changed. He runs like a human in the layout, he runs like an absolute clown in the finished product. And finally, Mahito speeding up and catching up to Nanami is done with smear frames near the end in the layout, showing you how quick he is, the camera almost struggling to keep up. In the final version, the smears are replaced by an awkward close-up of Mahito's face and eye leading into the contact. It's stuff like these that makes the scene feel wrong. It doesn't allow this scene to flow naturally and makes it feel choppy. There are countless such examples throughout the show, but we can't break down every single one of them. But it essentially boils down to a very bad set of filters and textures applied on CGI backgrounds, which are extremely common in most of the show's action scenes. You may look at some scenes from the anime, and those very scenes from the Shingo Yamashita directed opening, and you can see the difference. The energy in this scene is shown by a single light source on one side of the screen, and generic camera shakes with some poorly drawn speed lines, and regular wind effects with some blur on it. That very scene in the opening is so much better. Even ignoring the actual superior animation, the whole screen turns into a single color to signify the starting point of the energy wave. While downward facing speed lines, the light source at one end of the screen getting brighter to the point where you can barely make out Itadori's face, it gets across how strong the attack is. You can have the best animation in the world, but bad compositing will more than gladly make it look subpar. I hate pointing out staff names in a negative light, but here it's not exactly the director of photography Teppe Ito's fault. He had only one show that he had worked on before he was given this role for Jujutsu Kaisen. He had pretty much no experience. As for the one show he had worked on prior to Jujutsu Kaisen, I'm pretty sure that isn't an action anime, meaning he had never done compositing on an action anime before. What more to expect? It's not on him, it's the people who put him in charge of such a high-profile show right off the bat instead of letting him get some experience first. In some cases, a bad composite is understandable, such as the compositing struggling to keep up with the extremely fast-moving Keiichiro Watanabe cuts. If Mappa had assigned the role to a competent, experienced department of photography, imagine how much better this show could have looked. Imagine if the director and composite artist for the openings, Shingo Yamashita, did the same for the anime as well. Such a missed opportunity, isn't it? Imagine if they had arranged for some competent background animators so they would not have to 
to rely on the CGI heavy backgrounds with terrible textures on them. This show would have looked a lot more refined and well put together. Now the composite wasn't always bad, but again this video is about flaws only. Jujutsu Kaisen is a really well animated show which got kneecapped by some poor cuts of animation and an inexperienced department of photography. So that was it. Do you agree? Are there other visual criticisms you have with Jujutsu Kaisen? Let me know down in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and until next time. Okay.